This morning, a suspected case of human smuggling turning deadly in Texas. Authorities in San Antonio say they found 46 bodies near or inside this tractor trailer in a remote area. We're not supposed to open up a truck and see stacks of bodies in there. Um, none of us come to work imagining that. Rescuers pulling 16 people from the truck still alive, suffering from heat exhaustion with outside temperatures topping 100 degrees. No signs of water in the vehicle. It was a refrigerated tractor trailer, but there was no uh, visible working AC unit on that rig. A law enforcement official tells the Texas Tribune it appears people were trying to jump out of the tractor trailer because some of the deceased were found along several blocks. And many of the people appear to have been sprinkled with steak seasoning, perhaps an attempt to cover up the smell of people. Three people have been taken into custody. It's unclear if they're connected to human trafficking. The Homeland Security Department is now leading the investigation. The agency says it recently added more than 1,000 workers to crack down on smuggling, an effort it says has resulted in the arrest of nearly 2,000 smugglers in recent months. But Texas Governor Greg Abbott placing blame on the Biden administration, writing, these deaths are on Biden and the result of his deadly open border policies. The mayor of San Antonio calling it a horrific human tragedy. 46 individuals who are no longer with us, who had families, um, who were likely trying to find uh, a better life. We have 16 folks who are fighting for their lives in their hospital. Authorities last night said they have no idea how long the victims were inside the truck. The closest Mexican border crossing is more than 140 miles away. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.